Hey Mike, what's up? All right, so first, I love the background music. It's freaking awesome. All right, so when I'm looking for the unrack, I'm looking for the bar to travel downwards towards your hip. You do a pretty good job there, but look how high the bar is compared to the J-hook. I think you could raise the J-hook up one or two notches. All right, that will help the unrack a little bit more. Also, don't cross your feet, okay? If, uh, just keep your keep your feet and ankles together. Don't cross them. All right, it just uh, makes it a little bit more difficult in the abs, okay? I really do like how you're taking a big breath in before each rep, keeping the chest high. All right, now don't try not to collapse the chest at the top. See how it kind of collapses down. So keep the chest up. Think about chasing the bar with the chest. Also, lower the J-hooks a little bit. It doesn't have to be right where you touch your chest. It actually just has to be a little bit higher than your neck. So um, just in case you fail, you could bring it down, roll it up to your neck, and then slide out. So um, yeah, setting the J-hooks right up where the chest is. Uh, you know, you hit it a few times. So just lower the J-hooks a little bit. Um, yeah. All right, for the overhead press, good job setting your wrist position. So when you start, look at your wrist there. Now take a look at your last set. All right, notice how bent they are and how your elbows are behind the bar. Okay, this is the beginning of the last rep too, okay? So elbows need to be in front of the bar the entire time. Now when you press, look how your hips slide back. And the bar goes out in front of you. So you want to get the hips forward when you start. Okay. Get the hips forward and the chest up. And actively press back. So get the hips forward, legs tight. Hips forward, legs tight. Up to the forehead. And then press back. Okay, man. Also make sure that you're setting the wrist position uh, in between every single rep. As the set goes on, you're going to get tired. So... And uh, these band pull downs look pretty good, man. So, what will make these a little bit more difficult is um, obviously using a different band. The other thing is if you take the top where it's attached and you widen it up, it's going to allow more resistance in the band. So, it's going to it's going to make that band a little bit shorter. So, it's going to be a little bit tighter. Okay. Um, you don't really have to pause at the bottom. Just get down and go. Um, these are meant to be kind of done really rapidly, really fast. So, all right, man, that's all I got for you.